For this practical, you'll be using a micro pipette. Micro pipettes are delicate precision instruments for moving about very small volumes in the microliter range. There are three that you might see in the lab. Uh, the first is a P20, it's got a very long pointy end. The next is a P200, and it's got a snub nose. And the next is a P1000, which is quite a wide one. We'll be using mostly the P20. Um, I name them P20, 200 and 1000 because that's the maximum volume that you can move around with these pipettes. And you'll know, um, so this is a P20 because it says it on the end there, P20. And same with the P200 and P1000. Now it's really important to treat these with care. Um, they cost upwards of $300. Uh, they're communal items. All the students in the labs are going to be using them. And so it really requires everyone to be very careful with them. Um, if you do break them or if um, you get contamination in one of them, that's fine. We can clean them. Um, our technicians are able to service them, but just let us know. Pipettes can be adjusted by using this dial right here. You can turn the dial and it will tell you what kind of volume you're dealing out here in this window. P20s have two black numbers and a red number. So if you can see that, it says 103. This P20 is now set to pick up 10.3 microliters. So that third number, the red number, is actually a decimal point of microliters. Inside the body of the pipetman, there are two springs. There's a light spring that's easy to depress and a heavy spring that's a bit harder to depress. So um, this pipette has what's called two stops. Um, if I just push down lightly on it, that depresses the light spring and it gets to what we call the first stop. But you can go to the first stop and then depress the heavy spring right down to the bottom. That's called the second stop. So there's one stop, two stops. And that's important for when you're picking up and dispensing liquid. Whenever you're using pipettes, uh, you'll need to use a disposable plastic pipette tip because you don't want to get any contamination inside the actual pipette because we're reusing this, you can contamination, uh, cause contamination in future experiments. So um, the P20 and 200 use yellow tips and the P1000 uses blue tips. We won't be using these today so I'll just put them out of the way. Um, P200, put that away as well. So how do you use these? Well, open the box and just tap down. Make sure you always close these boxes because um, they may catch contamination from out of the air or if you're talking you may accidentally spit. Um, everyone does it. So there's the, the pipette tip. Um, when you've got the pipette tip on, try to always keep it facing downwards because if you have liquid in the pipette tip and you turn it up the other way, um, well, liquids obey the laws of gravity, so they'll go down into the actual pipette and contaminate it. So always try and keep the pipette facing downwards. This pipette is set to 050 or 5 microliters. Now to draw up 5 microliters, you just use that first stop. It's important um, when you go down to the first stop that you haven't got the pipette tip inserted in the liquid yet. Um, when you push the plunger down, it's actually pushing a little bit of air out. And if you do that, if you put the pipette tip into the liquid and then push down, then there'll be a little air bubble that gets sucked back up into the tip instead of the liquid that you want. So, here we go. Push down to the first stop, just into the liquid, and slowly draw up. Make sure you do the um, drawing up slowly. You don't want to re just release the plunger because you can get aspiration up into the body of the pipette, which is contamination. And of course you don't want that. To expel the liquid, this is where we use the second stop. I've got a piece of parafilm here and I'm going to use my non-pipetting hand as a support so I can be a bit more accurate. So what we can do is get the tip as close to the parafilm as possible and if you push down to the first stop you'll notice 
perhaps that there's a little bit of liquid left. So to make sure we get all the five microliters that we've sucked up, you want to push down beyond that first stop all the way to the bottom to the second stop and that gets rid of all the liquid. We're, we're actually pushing a little bit of air out behind the liquid to make sure we get an accurate volume.